How to Make Clipping Masks in Adobe Illustrator, a Vectormade.com tutorial. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another Vectormade.com tutorial. Ant-Man and the Wasp is coming out soon, so I thought I'd just grab Evangeline Lilly's face here and show you how uh, you can create clipping masks inside of Illustrator. Let's jump on in. So first thing you're wanna, you want to do is grab your image and then um, grab the marquee tool, uh, the rectangular mar marquee tool over here. And so you can hit M as a hotkey for that, and you should get this little cursor. And let's just create a square, and I'm going to hold Shift to make it a perfect square, keep, keep the dimensions uh, proportionate. All right, so I'm going to rotate it. All I did was grab the corner here, and I'm holding Shift to keep it at a a nice perfect um, 90 degree angle. I guess this would be 45 if you're looking at it on the sides. And let's go ahead and hit Shift X to switch from fill to stroke so that I can see what's underneath. I would say let's just bring it in a little bit. We'll focus on this section right here, you know, just the main part of our face. So if you wanted to make this a clipping mask, all you have to do is grab both of them, right click, and say make a clipping mask. Boom, that's pretty easy, right? Well, what if you wanted to do something a little more complicated? Let's back up a step. Let's say we wanted to have this uh, square radiate out and have uh, other sort of square-like shapes all the way to the edge. So let's do, grab the object that you made, go object, path, offset path, and let's do one inch. And go ahead and hit preview to make sure an inch looks good. One inch looks great. Uh, keep the joins on miter, and that doesn't really matter. So just hit OK. Boom. Now I would click Shift X again, or you can come over here and hit this to swap the fill and stroke. So you can see what you're doing, right? Um, and then we'll grab this outermost one, do the same thing, path, offset path, one inch, rinse, repeat until we have it all the way to the edge of our artboard. So probably a couple more times. Path, offset path, one inch. Path, offset path, one inch. That is enough. Okay, so now with those, let's just select the um, the layers we just made that are the, the outlined ones, just the strokes. Come over here and set the weight to 40. And let's do it align the strokes to the inside and I might back that off just a hair no I'm good with that I think 40 is fine let's just leave it there all right and then say object path outline stroke boom so now instead of strokes everything is a fill and I'm just doing outline mode here control Y to show you that everything is is now a fill and not a stroke all right, so now let's grab everything that we've made, right click and hit make clipping mask. <gasps> what? Carrie, it didn't work. What's going on, dude? So this is what probably a lot of you have done in the past and you don't know what's going on. Let's back up one step. Grab everything minus the background. So I'm, I'm sh just clicking over everything and then shift clicking on the background image to deselect it. Now with all the white uh, objects selected, I'm gonna go to object compound path make you can also do control 8 as a hotkey boom so now this is all one big piece right it's a compound path now you can click on everything right click make clipping mask and boom there it is and then what's cool is once you're in this clipping mask you can always double click to go inside and move things around right so i could just move my object around if I want to do something different with the clipping mask, um, you can resize it. Things like this. Maybe you just want to focus in on the eye. Something along those lines. But once you've got it inside of that clipping mask, you can easily edit it from within by double clicking and then double clicking to get back out again. So, and then the cool thing is once I made this, I brought everything into Photoshop to, um, do a few edits so I added uh, a bevel and emboss to this layer and then I added um, uh, some eye colorations so there I covered over her eye with some like really light cyan blue just to make that pop and then I added 
a little layer to her lips here to get those to be even more pronounced just to add a little extra flair to the thumbnail image. But that's that's the tutorial, guys. Very basic, very simple today. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about that one. And like, subscribe, and share my videos. I've got over 5,000 hours of watch time in the last year, which is amazing. And I think I'm just over 470 subscribers. So we are moving along. And I thank you guys so much. All right. See you in the next video.